you know, some people just come out wired that way, and that's me. I'm just like, I want to be outside. I want to be looking at trees and wildlife and feeling the wind and seeing the direction of the sun and getting a sense of the season that's changing around me. That's like a hugely important thing for me. They're a reflection of this little trip that I've been on down memory lane, if you want to call it that, of kind of revisiting some of the designs that I did when I was first starting in this business, when I was seriously like 10 and 12 years old making my first bags. You know, that, that's, that's my tradition, that's where I came from. One of the styles of backpack that I wanted to go back and revisit was what we're now calling the guides pack, based loosely on the European rucksacks that have been made probably since the 20s or 30s, that iconic shape and style. There's something just very pleasing to me about the aesthetic of it, and at the same time kept adding functionality that I know that a lot of modern users of packs would want. From the outside, it looks like an old pack in many ways, but once you start messing with it, you realize that it's got a place for your iPhone, a place for a GPS, snap hooks, you know, tether points, and this gleaming things from the past, from the present, and in that creating this new future of a pack that looks great, works great, has the organization people want, has the comfort people want. Founders briefcase, um, we incorporated, you know, some design elements that are purely aesthetic that are just like, wow, that's a cool looking thing, plus the features that you would expect on a modern briefcase. One of the, the fabrics that we're using on the guides pack in the Founders briefcase is 420 denier high tenacity nylon. It's a high density parapack fabric is what it was called. It was uh, originally designed for the military so that they could make packs for parachute jumpers. Most of the big backpack companies used it through the, the mid-late 60s into the early 70s until it was nudged out by Cordura and by cheaper Type 6 nylon. So if you, if you have your dad's pack Maybe your grandfather's pack from the 60s or the, or the early 70s, you might recognize this material. We can make the stuff that we make now, the travel bags, the laptop cases, and we could expand our line and expand it almost backwards in time to what we used to do, which was more outdoor related stuff. And the guides pack and the founder's briefcase are you know, at once an homage to design and style and some of the materials of the past, and at the same time, uh, sort of a fuel to rekindle our connection with outdoor equipment.